up in here but 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 I gotta play another song right what's that okay but first <laughs> what do we say every morning but morning afternoon because it's morning every day for us Little but time go. it's over go morning, morning. <laughs> yeah Mm. Now, I switched up on you a little bit, though, with the mm. change in the time. So, mm. my coffee that I had earlier, just to let everybody know, is one of my favorites out of Jamaica. It's called Jamaica Blue. Uh, it's bold. It's refreshing. A lot of nuances with it. Um, I didn't have the um, the actual box. I swiped a couple K-cups, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Uh, oh. last week. But uh, I'm working with some tea today. You know what I mean? I'm working with a little tea. So two cups of coffee. I'm rolling some tea. Okay. And uh, it's a little nice little z uh, ginger lemon zinger. Damn. Well, Come excuse me. I'm glad that you're talking about tea because I'm going to tell you something else about tea. But <laughs> do you see something different? I see a Big old, big old, big old mug. Uh huh. And it says, "Boss, boss, lady." But there's something. I was trying time. to read it in reverse. My dyslexia should have paid off, but it didn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, but inside it says something about you know. Um, I have to show it to you when I finish. If I finish okay. it before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot. That's a lot. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But yes, you know, I'm going to have different mugs all the time. Right. So I have to, you know, one of my friends bought me these mugs. I think every, every year someone buys me a mug because they know I love coffee and I'm so easy to please. Right. If you buy me a mug, I'm like, I'm happy. I'm excited. You're good to go with it. Right, yeah. Right. Okay. It's simple. I'm not, you know, I love coffee and Indeed. I love coffee mugs. But um, I have to focus on this uh, this independent artist because, you know, like I say, Java Drips Radio is about 
you know, that music is about supporting independent artists. You know, that's my thing. That's something I've been doing for quite some time. And Hot Shots, if you guys don't know who Hot Shots Woo! is, he's our secret music, you know, A&R type of guy. He goes out on his coffee break and he, you know, finds some some talented independent artists. Yes, he you know does. He's the business. Yes, he does. And, you know, I'm just, I, I, I wish that I had an ear like him. I think I do. But, you know, Hot Shots, you know, he, he know what's up. He knows what's going on. So this artist here, and she's on Instagram. Her name is Zandy2247, okay? All right? Let me play it. 2247, okay. Okay, so uh, here goes. I'm looking like some white people, but I'm snapping like some pipers. See me rapping on the gram, and now he really won the piper. He asked me why I chose him, so I blocked this fucking mess. If he thinks that he ain't worthy, who am I to stop his ass? I don't fuck with petty niggas, you bitches can keep the chase. I done stepped into myself, I guess you can say she done changed. Bitch, I remember days when I used to count my rent money five times by hand shit. Just to get used to how that shit felt going in and out of my hands. Bitch, my ride was in it and busted, but that don't work. Oh. 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 I'm gonna get these bands though. It's actually gonna come up here real, real sketchy. Gotta fuck with the stuff real, real heavy. Wait, be my currency. It pulls me to this money seat. I be the black area, but oh. ain't no crabs in front of me. The black area. I'm gonna check my pass on the dead, but I'm gonna test to you. Throw that shit on your arms. That's the motherfucking chill. Snapping on these beats without no look. Bitch, I'm you know, like she, she's pretty good. Okay, let me read what she said. She says, Allow me to talk a wee bit of shit. I'm proud of myself. Posting these takes make me make takes me all the way out of my comfort zone. I hoard verses all the time, but no more of that. I say what I feel in that moment, and this beat had me right for at least an hour. I got so much out, but I'm only sharing the first minute for time's sake. Ha ha ha. I'll use the rest for another beat. I just love music so, so much. What beat should I try next? Also, can you please share this post if you thought it was fire? It's free, and it helps my tribe find me. I know that's right. She says it's free. Hey, that's that's <laughs> right in my budget. That's all up in my price range. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool that, you know, that, you know, I mean, she was swearing, you know. Well, you know, everybody be swearing. I mean, everything's like rated R, explicit lyrics or whatever. But that's how she felt at that time. And sometimes, you know, it gets, it's, it gets kind of decaffeinated. <laughs> It does. I you know, it the like the <laughs> you like Woo! that? You like that? I like how you say that. Anyway. That was kind of smooth. Yeah. That was smooth. Yeah, that was smooth. You know, I try yeah. to, you know, keep yeah. the coffee thing going. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, but yeah, I had to, I had to share that about Hot Shots because he was out there on Cappuccino Street and Zandy twenty two forty seven. I'm gonna reach out to her. I'm definitely gonna reach out to her. I really like her flow. There's something about her, and uh, she she's doing it. And she has something on YouTube. I subscribe to it already. Um, she talks about hair and makeup, but I'm trying to find out like is she an artist or she's, you know, just talking about herself. So I'm gonna find out more about her. Later yeah, do on. a little bit. Yes. Yeah, I like I like her flow. She has a um, sort of unique delivery. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I like with independent artists. I don't like. Uh, Sort of that cookie cutter mold or style. It, 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 oh, it's my new style is developed, and then it's like, but now you sound like bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I, I can roll with that. I, I, I like her. I like yeah, investigate, see what else is cracking. You know what I mean? Yes. She yes. About it, she bout it, bout it. I know. Hey, Rosie, the Rosie perspective. Hey, comedian Pat, Pat we got to talk. Yo, comedian uh, Pat right. We got to talk. All right. Thank you. Yes, young boss. Yes, black child. Man, everybody, what's up? What's up? Man, we got Ooh, right good. into it. You know, when we have our coffee, it's like, okay, let's get Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you get up, get out, and get at it. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Uh, I want to just give a shout out to an independent artist. Uh, hopefully, we'll we be able to play some of this stuff uh, maybe next week. Okay. He, uh, he happens to be my nephew. He goes by the name of Rolling Green out of the south side like of Shot. Rolling Green. Rolling Green, baby. Uh, I, I think uh, you can check some things up now, but uh, some of his new stuff is massive. I just didn't get uh, clearance from him 
to be able to play uh one of one of the singles yet. So I'm gonna try to work on that this week, do my research, get some permission, and see if we can't rock for a quick minute at some All point. Right. Bring me down All the right. line, you know. Yes, because I want to hear Rolling Green. Yeah, rough, rugged, and raw. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? You know how it come. <laughs> you know wow, how it's to do. <laughs> Okay. All most right. definitely, most definitely. You know, hey, I see something different about you. What's How that? you brewing? Oh, man, you know I'm brewing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm brewing just fine. Because you look a little different, babe. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so um, you know, periodically, um, being an actor, we get little roles here and there that we got to work for. Uh, and this is a project that I'm finishing up now. And it had to be clean cut, you know what I mean? So I had to let the woolly mammoth go. The woolly mammoth <laughs> had to go for a minute, you know, the suit catcher, all that stuff. And by the way, I want to just say something for my brothers, you know what I'm saying? We be rolling these beards, you know, right now. Beard, beard game. Beard, yeah, you know, trust and believe I'll be back within, oh, I don't know, 72 hours. It'll be back like blah, blah, blah. That's just how mine grows. But. Y'all got to start speaking up, man. If, if, if you know I'm having a little grub at a luncheon, and you see I got some wing sauce all up in here, man, don't just be talking to me like it's all gravy, man. And then I get home, and I get ready for bed, pop off the cubs in, in, in the best hat. And I'm like, what? The, what? what my, you didn't say nobody said nothing? Nothing? I've been meaning to get on that, man. I know my brothers with the beers go through that, man. Don't nobody do that. You not be. Listen, forget politeness. If you catch me in a rehearsal or something like that, you be like, hey, shot time, shot. Shot. Roll up in that. What's up? And I'm going to immediately know what you're talking about. And I'm going to whip that comb out and get the spaghetti and the soup and the salad because I know it's big, oh, man. <laughs> well, that's how I eat. Hey, latte, you know what I mean? That Come is messed brother. up. That's messed up. But you know what's so crazy when you mention the beard game? Mm -hmm. I remember on Facebook, I used to hang out a lot on Facebook, and you will got, you guys will see me on Facebook soon. But anyway, <laughs> there used to be this group called The Beer Game. Oh, I don't know how many guys that were on there, and it became popular. I think they even mentioned it on the news. I, it must have went viral or something. It was about all these attractive, beautiful men with beards. Because women, we love beer that. Game. We love that. Okay. Sexes. But anyway, it was like a big thing. So I think because of that group, there are men, black men out there and women that have like different types of beard, shampoos and fresheners and conditioners. Oh. Like now it's a big business. It always has been. But because of that beard game thing going on, people That's been making money is. doing something with that. Well, you threw me for a minute because you said beard game, men and women. I was like, and women, I had to wait for that. <laughs> Hey, hold on, just a minute. Give me a big time out on that coach. Here, gang, gang, gang. That's okay, what, that's okay, what something okay. Something I always used to say when we did the Cougar Show: beer, gang, 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 because we love the men with the beards. So, okay, okay. You know, well, damn hamburger. So next time, if you have food or whatever, you you probably should just keep a brush and some freshener balm or whatever y'all use. Yeah. Keep it, you know. But anyway, I had to mention. I don't that. know. We don't we don't catch it all the time, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm enjoying <laughs> these little few days, you know what I'm saying? Why well, I ain't got nothing on my face real quick. As soon as it comes back, baby, all types of my menu, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how it is. Well, I'm drinking Lavazza, okay? That's espresso, Lavazza, Ooh. okay? You know, you know, and mm. I'm wearing my Leah shirt too, because you know I love that love for Leah. Rock the boat. There we go. There we go. So wear my Aaliyah shirt. Yes, sir. Different yes, sir. and creative. And I like the, the look. It has a little brown. You know, I'm trying to keep the coffee, you know, thing, thing going. Okay. But yes, Lavazza. As you can see, I'm halfway there. <laughs> yeah, now, espresso. I have a little latte, as you can see. Hey. Latte with my almond milk. Yes, almond milk. All man, right. I still can't do that almond milk, man. I want to keep trying, but it's something about it. I don't know what it is. You I, might I need know. to have it froth, you know? Welcome to the froth world. Froth world. Froth world. Okay? Oh. Welcome to it. Shoo. But yes, that's what I'm having. And um, 
<laughs> he said the face mask be helping out <laughs> DJ Mackie. <laughs> That face pass does. <laughs> yes, it does help sometimes, brother. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Dang. That's right, Beer Gang. Dang. Hey, guys. I didn't even see this part. I used to be in that group. He's talking about the uh, the Cougar Club. Yes. Oh, Beer gang. got you. Okay. Okay. That's right. The face mask. And you know what? You can get really creative with a face mask now. Yeah, you 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 really could, you know, you really could. I had a uh, a friend of mine in Chicago. She has um, I don't know the company. I had to find out for the next time if anybody if anybody might be interested. But it's actually uh, a picture of your face, and you got a mask which is actually looking like your face over your face. It's the freakiest thing ever. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I can looking. go with lips, like the shape of my lips. And they got the whole get down, like from here down is all you. And it just looked wild. Kind of mm. like spooky. Like for me, to this day, I'm still like, I have a, a phobia and a, a very deep fear of clowns and puppets. And it goes into that category mm -hmm. when I see it with that on. I'm like, ah, do, I, ah. do I have to call us the scorpion goddess for you? We got to add, add that to the list with the cats. Scorpion the, the, the horse situation I'm taking care of. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got I have no choice. I'm shooting a movie in July in Tennessee really? where I'm a cowboy. So the horse lessons are stark. You know what I mean? We you know what? I wanna yeah. have your life. I wanna have your life. Because you get to be all these different people. You know what I'm saying? That I, I, I need I need to have your life. It'd be interesting. All the hats. I mean now you're gonna be a cowboy, but what are you next week? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed. We gotta book the roles. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Crazy man. Well, we talked about coffee roasters. I, I really should be yes. tagging some of them, but there's one in particular that I really, um, I really have mad respect for, and I have to give them a shout out, um, the Royal Diaspora Coffee because. Um, they really be looking out. They always posting um, some of my coffee, you know, posts. And um, I've had their coffee. Mm. And uh, they sent me a free bag. And I really, really, really appreciate that. They didn't have to do that. Right. But they did. And. Um, How was it? Like what, you know, what was the blend? It's a Brazilian blend. Okay. Right. Uh. It's a Brazilian blend. Um, and you guys, I'll text the www, the Latte Java Drips Sweet. radio in a few minutes. But anyway, it's a Brazilian blend. It's a light roast. And it has like a, a hazelnut flavor to it. Mm. Um, I'm going to actually order right after this show. And I'm going to ship it to you. Sweet. Sweet. Okay? I'm definitely interested in that. It sounds fabulous. Okay. And I like, the, I like the fact that our roasters are jumping on board. That's good to hear. That's okay. good to hear. Big Q says, uh, Bucho Latte, holla at my homie, Bean Ali Coffee. Okay, but here's the thing, Big Q. Yes, I want to do that. But here's, here's what I'm trying to get the coffee roasters to do. Hook it up. All right? Coffee roasters. I'm giving you a prime example for Royal Diaspora, all right? I told you they always send the post out. They always give me a shout out. They send me a free bag. So here's the deal. If any coffee roaster sends us a free bag to taste, right? We will do a 15-minute segment, well, basically 15 minutes yep. of them hanging out with us and giving us a little bit. It's almost like a little promo of what they do, um, where we can find their coffee, and have a discussion. We're, we're basically allowing you to become a guest on our show, and I think it's a good way to get, get your name out there and if you don't send us a free bag, we'll buy it. We yeah, don't have a problem, right? We For sure. We it's in the problem. budget. Buying. It's in the budget. Right. It's what right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have no problem buying. Mm. So we'll do that. We'll buy it. And we'll just give you a shout out. Most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. So, but here's the thing, though. If you send us a free bag, you'll be live on Facebook. YouTube, Twitch, <laughs> and what's the other one? I don't know, but I got to remember my full thing. Bam, there we go. And Instagram. Five. And the social 
many damn social media uh, channels. I can shoot do other channels, but right those there. five. That's right. Okay. This is those will go live. Do you have anything to add to this? Man, listen, most definitely. Uh, and we're looking for you to come on the show because not only is it an excellent opportunity, as like they said, for you to push your particular brand and your, your business, but it's also an opportunity to be able to explain some of the processes with some of your particular roles. So we're looking mm -hmm. for roasters who want to come aboard, maybe pick their top two uh, blends, explain a little bit of the process. Uh, expiration dates on your bags. How do you decide that based on maybe a particular bean that comes from a particular region? Uh, mm -hmm. You may want to share some vocabulary uh, with some of our podcasters, you know, inclusive of the process. So, you know, we want to just have you out there to be able to expose your, your uh, business and give us a little more about how you go about maybe even being an independent roaster for people who might be interested in if, if you all are down for that particular yes. endeavor. Yes, and, I, and, it, and it's great exposure. It, we're going to start this in January, though, the five channels, okay? So, you know, I've been testing it out. And yes. It's, just, it's great. I'm so excited. <laughs> Video clips, background, overlays, all that excitement. Oh, no, no. Static about it. So, you know, it, it's, more ben it's more beneficial for you guys than it is for me. You there know, we go. There we go. I, I just love coffee, and I love music. I Woo! gotta have coffee and music. It doesn't make sense if I just have coffee with no music and no sound. Can't have one without the other. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So hey, it's they go together. Right. So it's important for you guys to participate. And if you know any coffee roasters, please have them contact me. But you right. know what? After the show, I'm going to talk about, you know, I need you guys to subscribe to Latte Java Drips Radio. You hit the shop button, goes directly to where it says email address. And it'll say something yes. like, um, we'll let you know when we go live. So all I need is your email address so that I can contact you. I need you to tag three friends, you know, have them like and follow. Not only that, I need you guys to participate. Yes. So hashtag Latte Java Drips Radio. Because That's right. I, if you don't help me, how can I help you? There we go. It's One hand networking. wash the other. That's exactly. right. Exactly. That's right. I buy coffee from you. Or you send me a free bag, and you get exposure. You still gonna get exposure, but bag of coffee. We just want to make sure we specify a bag of coffee. Bag All of right. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you just say bag. You never you, know you nowadays. Say, you just say a dime bag. I, I cover the legal bag. department of, of <laughs> Virgo Morning, so the legalities you got to make sure you know we're in order. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. No, no, no CBD up in that motherfucker. Right. Right. No CBD. Yeah, no cop. CBD. That's right. Right. I, I, you know, I want, you know, when they, they test me, you know, it will be coffee. There we go. There we go. Coffee. But wait a minute. You said something is inside the cup and you got to drink it down. To... I'm almost done. He's trying to give okay. me the song. Because I'm, I'm excited. I want to know what it is because I see the boss lady. I'm like, but what, what could possibly go in with boss lady? To coincide, you know what I mean? It's just the, uh, the Virgo and me got to know now. I got to <laughs> just, you know, I almost want you to dump it out. <laughs> dump, dump it out and start over so we can read it. You want to know what it's there. Oh, oh, before I forget. Okay, you guys. I need you guys to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, here we go. Let me just tell you, and then I'll, I'll post it. There we go. Come on. Cavina. Okay. Have you ever had Cavina coffee? I have not. Anyway, it's a Vietnamese. This is a Vietnamese, oh. okay, coffee. A coffee filter. It's kind of a maker, okay? Oh. Maybe I should open this one. I'll... I don't want to open it because I'm going to do a giveaway, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have another one, but I'll get it later. But it's a coffee filter, and I'll probably demonstrate it, maybe on the show. And um, they have this Vietnamese coffee. So all you have to do is add hot water, like one ounce of hot water, and you, and you allow it to bloom. And when I say bloom, it means that the, the coffee and the water, hot water hits the grind okay. and blooms. And it releases carbon dioxide, and that's how you get the flavor of the coffee. But anyway, I'm not, you know, a scientist or anything. But anyway, I'm going to do a giveaway, all right? So I need 
some coffee lovers and some tea lovers. Ooh. So you will get a Calvina Vietnamese coffee filter. That is an excellent <laughs> giveaway. <laughs> Look at this, a tea and coffee brewer. Since you were oh, talking about nice. tea and coffee, check this out. It shows you how to how to brew the perfect cup. Oh, so you can use this okay. as a coffee and tea, mm. okay? So, so you don't even beautiful. really- Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. Nice little giveaway. And you do not have to be a scientist to follow those directions, okay? Exactly. Hey, Veldasi, hey. What's going down? You know who that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, organic, dragon, nice. well, green tea, loose tea, okay? So that's it. I can't give y'all my uh my other my my jasmine organic jasmine, you know. No. Nope. Extra special green tea. That, Why mine. Not? It's mine. But anyway, those are some of the giveaways. So I need you guys participation. All right. Most definitely. Most so, definitely. I think, I think these are some really great giveaways. And you don't have to be a coffee drinker, you guys. You don't have to be. And you can do a cold brew with this too. That's what I'm looking you at. Have, you can have iced coffee. Yeah. So neat. I think this is like the coolest Ooh. thing ever. I don't want to open it up because then, you know, like I said, this is one of the giveaways. Shoot, I might give away a coffee maker. I don't see why not. I might. But you know what? Till further ado, we'll see. Okay. But, um, okay. I got to get some participation. Okay, we get some participation. I'll tell you what. I throw in a coffee maker. I will throw in the coffee maker on that. Really? And I'll tell you what. This one what? has a little bit of history. Uh, matter of fact, we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. And that's the whole reason I haven't used it, because it was used by some semi-famous folk. So I'm, no. I've been sort of holding this more like a, almost like a trophy. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chat on it. We'll chop it up okay. and see what's happening. You know, because, you know, we need you guys to participate. We want you coffee roasters. This is not only just about coffee and Virgo talk, but we want we want to support coffee roasters. And there's a, there's a lot of Black-owned coffee roasters that I've never heard of. I didn't even know that it existed. And I just, this is just my way of giving back. You know, but I also want to let lie. you guys know about the podcast. Okay. Uh -huh. So Latte Java Drips Radio also has a podcast. All right. So you, me, him, and her, Rosie Perspective Podcast, Too Much Game Podcast, Grown Man Logic, Coffee with Kendra. Yes. You guys, I'm bringing it. Okay. Let me type it in so you guys can see. Where to That's go? I'm talking okay. about. I need you guys to be signing up see. so that you'll know when we go live. Because we're going to do some visuals. It's going to be on and popping. So there's going to be a lot of podcasters now, okay? Too much game. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. And Rosie Perspective, you guys have not been listening to her. She is on all she the, the time. She's She's definitely the business. And she always posts. I always get her dates mixed up. But I believe she's Thursdays. Yep, she is. She's Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern. So Five Eastern, okay. Yes. Yeah. Too much game, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? There you go. On Mondays, okay? So. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And, and just a quick side note, Latte. Yeah, we got to pay attention to these um, time zones. Because uh, yes. with the beauty of this technology, we can all link up. And we just want to make sure that we, you know, are, are very uh, careful to understand which time zones are applied to which, which uh, particular podcast, just so we can all get at each other, you know. That, that's true. And you know what? I can't wait. I haven't even discussed with the podcasters that I would like for me, you, and the podcasters, because it's going to be hard because they are all from different you know, um, areas. Oh, God, I don't know. How are we going to do it? We're going to make it happen. We're going to make Coffee it happen. Coffee with tea. Yes. <laughs> what up, famo? Yeah. So, We're going to make it happen. We've had a couple slips hither and thither. You know, <laughs> on a couple a couple flights, last minute flights. Getting a little confused. but That's right. We, we, <laughs> we grind it out. We grind it out. 
But with our new platform, our new networking thing that we got going on, we can have up to 10 people at a time. Yes. So yes. we're going to do, you know, I would love to have the podcast crew. We're going to have to figure out a time where we can all be on one platform and, and have a discussion because I feel like we really need to get to know each other, you know? I agree. I concur. I've been wanting to use that for the past three days. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> Coffee with Keith, you love it? Great. I hope you heard. So, Keith, let your friends know. Um, let folks know, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Coffee Roasters, you know, attention, attention, please. Yeah. Sign up or email me. Yeah. Okay? Most and, um, yeah, I hope you heard what we had to say about the, uh, the, co the bag of coffee. In bag of coffee beans. Beans, yes. Beans. Coffee beans. Bag of coffee I wasn't beans. thinking that we trying to do a Bonnie and Clyde thing or something. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Okay. That's okay. the theme music. That's the theme music. I just did that guitar riff. Yeah, I don't know. It sounded like like something else, though. It I don't did, know. didn't it? It, it, it didn't sound too much with these. <laughs> 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 My body is Clyde Riff, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, look. Look, mm -mm. I, I wasn't prepared for this, but, mm -mm -mm. I, you know, I, I'm a trip because you know how I feel about my celebrities you know, I, I, oh. I don't like talking about them all the time. Uh oh. I don't, but. What you got? What you, what you, what you got? There's a lot of things that's going on. Too much. Too much game podcast. Too much game. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, flip that right into a promo for my man's. I know, right? Too much game podcast. Too much game. But too much game, you know, what I like about him is it's not about game. He's putting you up on game, but he's putting you up on some knowledge. And that's what I like there about him. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, going back to the podcasters, I'm proud of myself. What? What? What the hell? I'm getting choked up. I'm choking a little teary out. I am because I used to always complain. Uh -huh. I used to always complain about unity and wanting to do things and network. And I got tired of complaining and decided to do something about it. Mm. You know? Um, I guess that's part of being a Virgo. That's, that's part of the Virgo vibe. You know what I'm saying? We, we are true leaders. We're healers. And when we say something, we do it. Amen. You know what I mean? And it was draining because I kind of felt lost. And I knew I had to do something. And I'm so excited. I see him, me, you, and her right now. And um, I just can't wait to see what they're going to bring. I can't wait to see, you know, Coffee with Kendra. I, uh, the fact that she's Coffee with Kendra. It's like, look at the sister girl. Look at the sister girl. I feel like we're gonna be besties now. Cause you know she's about that coffee life and the, and the dates, you know, coffee dates and stuff. So I, you know, I'm just excited about that. And Rosie, Rosie always brings it. You know that that's my partner in crime. She brings it. And too much game. He's like a he's like a bro. He's like that brother you could just hang out with all the time. You know, I don't know. It's just something about him. But anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, rolling with me. Um, and I hope everyone understands what we're doing. And if you don't, you need to tune in to www.lattejavadrips.com slash LJD Radio to hear more information. And I'm going to get to the gossip. Get to the filter-free topics. Uh -oh. Why I call it filter-free? Because it shouldn't really be filtered, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, damn. But... Oh, damn. <laughs> it's about... Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Ooh. Okay. She going on Jada Will. Oh. <laughs> Who knows what's going on with Jada 
Pinkett and Will Smith. I I've been hearing some really crazy stuff about Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, okay? See? Someone started a petition to stop Will Smith and Jada Pinkett from speaking on their marriage. What's the big uh, deal? Why are uh, people tripping about that? Uh, there was a time where they weren't even talking about their marriage. There was a time where we didn't really hear much about them. No doubt, right, right. So, so they are the still married, deal? huh? What? They are still married. Yes, they are okay. still married. Well, allegedly, I guess they are. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what's the business. You know. <laughs> well, she's a Virgo, so. Um, Love it or death. Hey, my thing is this. Who cares? What? But, but listen to this. Who cares? I Look, I like the gossip, but here, listen to this. Child, the internet is on a mission to silence Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Apparently, someone listed as a, some Dexter Morales uh -huh. started a change the org petition, okay? To hush the married couple. Wow. Okay? Wow. <laughs> and why would Dexter do this? Well, this person seems to be among online users who are desperate to escape media headlines about their marriage. I mean, look, I don't know if you knew about this. You know Will Smith is uh, coming out with a book. Do you know mm -hmm. did you hear about I, that? I, I did know that. I was trying to see when it was supposed to drop because I've been hearing about it for a while. I know. Because once I, once I find out, I'm going to let you know because we need to read about it. Yeah, because, um, I, I, that's definitely a must read, you know. Definitely a must read. Damn, they said it's been more than 1,900 signatures about this. 1,900 really? signatures. According to the petition's detail, it was created on Thanksgiving Day. Damn, that's harsh. It's out. Oh, 1,900 to silence them so they can't talk anymore about their marriage. <sighs> oh, the only descriptive words about the petition seems to be, poor Will Smith. You know what bothers me? Why is it that? Oh, here I go. Oh, Haven Hart says it's out. The book is out? Oh, it's already out. Oh. I didn't, I didn't either. Exactly. Call me with Keisha. Show me a perfect We're marriage. Perfect marriage. Right. Exactly. And my thing is, I, I kind of, this is what I heard. Mm. That uh, Jada Pinkett Smith never believed in, in marriage. She mm. never believed in the type of, the, the traditional marriage type of life. Did you know that? I, I did not know that. I'm gonna be hundred percent honest. I did not know that. Yes, yes, she did she say that she was not one of those people that believe in traditional marriages. But my thing is this: uh, what they do is their business. I do believe allegedly they have an open marriage, right. and I kind of feel like because of what happened with her and Augustina, mm -hmm. kind of slipped out. It wasn't supposed to come it out. Supposed, right? Okay. And I, I think this is that. kind I of a cover that. up. I think yeah. it's kind of like a, okay, well, they know now. Yeah, so we got to come with it. They turned into that skid. I, I, I understand that. I understand that. I kind of think, yeah. You got to go and, with it. Yeah, go with it. Yeah, and I feel so sorry for Will sometimes because I seen the look on his face when they were on the, at the red table talking. Mm. You know, she was like, it was an entanglement. I love the way Jada words things. Cracks me up. That's, that's mm. some shit I would say. <laughs> Well, honey, that was an entanglement. Uh, entanglement. I don't know if I would be able to slide with that. It was entanglement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but it sounds like I, a broad generalization. I, I, entanglement. I, I know. Got a lot of subheadings under that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, uh -huh. I, you know, but everybody's like, poor Will. But I'm thinking to myself, like, no, poor Will. They agreed to this. I don't yeah. know what nobody's saying. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh. They agreed to this. He agreed to it, but he didn't want to, to slip out. I think he was embarrassed. I think his ego, his manhood got a little bruised. Mm -hmm. And that's why this book is out. Yeah, it could very well be, but I, I, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, that's some Libra shit. King Richard is definitely one of the best films my man has ever done on the Whatever this book is going to drop, Hayden Hodge is saying it's up for pre-order, so I guess it's not okay. going to officially read it, but it is up for pre-order. But uh, I, would, I would definitely uh, 
promote that particular movie just just from an African American family perspective as a father of a daughter uh I'm not even going to say anything about the film go see it though go on, check it out if anybody else has you want to share anything with it out I invite that but uh just as far as a thes being a, 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 a tradesman what he's done with this is phenomenal it is just it's just phenomenal so okay. Where but I am looking forward this? to the book as well definitely yes yes the book, is this the book and a movie? Well, see, I don't know what's popping with the book. I want to pre-order the book and see what's happening. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it, it's a little Hollywood. The book looks like it might be a little Hollywood. I'm kind of like, hey, gossip, you gossip. You I, know like what I'm I, I, I like, I, I do like the thing. gossip. I yeah, like I the gossip. I like the gossip if it's, a, if it's about the Kardashians. <laughs> and the only reason why I, I'm wrong, don't get mad. Kardashians, but but they're just Kardashians. Like I'm still so okay. I'm still salty about Jordan Woods. You know how the way they did Jordan Woods, how they did the sister. I'm sorry. I didn't like how the way they treated her. It wasn't her fault that homeboy kissed her. Tristan, you know that was that was that was his fault. Oh, I really felt like he 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 was wrong for that. So ever since that incident, I have not had any respect for the Kardashians. At well, all? Not well, Zoe or Chloe or whatever her name is. See, I messed up her name because I'm I'm upset. Because yeah, she's see, my favorite one. She used to be my favorite wise. one. Well, she used to be my favorite one until you know That's until right. that I do remember that. That was one of your faves. Okay, I got you now. You know, but Jordan, you know Right. Right. Jordan was she's a young girl. She she's a little girl. Yeah. And they knew better. She knew that her man was always cheating. She knew that he has a history of cheating, but why put that girl out like that? I just felt that was wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah They've been stealing yeah. men too. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And you can't what? steal something that you that ain't yours that you never had. There you go. I don't care how much you money can't. you have. I don't you care can't. how much liposuction and lip injections and Botox. I don't care. Booty. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't whoa. care. Wait a minute. The Kardashians <laughs> got Botox. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, okay plastic surgery. My, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't hear. You know. Come on now. Okay. I guess. I, I guess. Felt like, I always yeah. felt like Kim was the sweetest one out of the bunch. Yeah. And, and the other, other sister who's really quiet, I, I like the fact that she's quiet. And I'm glad that she's getting getting married and so stuff. She, she got rid of the other guy. But anyway. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. Okay. Well, but anyway, you know about the gossip. I'll have some good gossip for you next week because I wasn't prepared for this. I'm going to be honest with you. wasn't prepared for the gossip because I really didn't feel like there was nothing to talk about. But, you well, know. Well, well, let me slide you Let me slide you a potential situation. I just want to see what you feel about it. Mm-hmm. Common, mm. common, and haddish. What's the business? What's oh. the business? Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! I think eighty seventh is through right now. I don't know. I don't know what the business is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm gonna play something for you. I'm gonna play oh, oh, something oh, for okay. I just, you. you know, just, just, oh, just a little gossip. I, I just want to see what the business is. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I want to see what the business is. Oh my god. There's too much business going on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 87 be, you know, he be, he be in and out like a robbery. Be, be done. So I want, you know, is, is it official? Okay, listen How to this. The ride? What's the business? Okay, there's this guy named the K Empire. I listen to him a lot. Mm. I'm going to have to reach out to him. But anyway, listen to what he has to say about it. Here it goes. Well, that was quick. Let me get on this side because I'm on Tiffany's side. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Common unfollowed Tiffany on Instagram, sparking rumors that the two have broken up. If, you have, if you've been under a rock, uh, they've confirmed their relationship the last couple of months. 
but it might be over. And it wasn't just comment on following Tiffany. It was also this cryptic message that she put on her IG story about her exes. But let me get back on, on my, my girl Tiffany's side. Um, I don't know. There just seems to be something wrong with Common. He gets into these relationships with these really powerful, incredible black women. Mm -hmm. And then it just falls apart. These are women that you would want to wipe up. At this point, the common denominator here is Common. <laughs> oh, wait. I just saw what I did. What do you guys think? Let's talk about it in the comments. I love him. <clears throat> I agree. He always okay. waking up with the most powerful, beautiful black women. I think men, I hate to say this, I think that some black men have a problem with strong, successful black women. And I think I think there's something wrong with Common because he can't keep a woman. He's worse than Taylor Swift. Can't keep a man. Ooh. That's just my opinion. Oh, and by the way, Sometimes I'm not bossy. Things just don't I am work boss. Out. Let me see, what's it say? I'm not bossy. I am the boss. There we go. I like that. You got a little drop left in there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wait. <laughs> Bam, it's gone. Well, okay. There we go. It's mostly gone. It's mostly gone. <laughs> well, uh, I was waiting for that. Well, I mean, listen, I, far be it for me to know anything ever about relationships, but, you know, I can kind of see what my man is saying. You know what I mean, but now, now let's just let's just call it what it is. Go ahead, Erica Badu. I knew it. And Tiffany my Haddish, colleague, my colleague. I, I, I'm just gonna say, like, hey, you know, Tiff, Tiff had a, a situation uh, where she got drunk and kind of couldn't do a show, so that could have been. I'm just saying, devil's advocate, possibly that could have been a tip of a proverbial iceberg of a possible drinking situation. I do not know. I do oh, not allegedly. Know. Uh, well, we saw her. You got to see. She was she was tipsy and couldn't finish working. So you tell me a job, you can show up drunk and they're going to ride. So I'm just saying possibly. Now, as far as Erica Badu, That's my man, girl. You That's tripping, bro. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> You know what she did? She did have common wearing yarn pants. Hey, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? That's love what right it there. It is what it she is. Pisces. But all joking aside, man, I wish the best for him. I hope things can be straightened out. And, and that sometimes does happen. Uh, you know, obviously, we're having fun with gossip. Uh, right. But I'm, I'm pretty sure their relationship is a little more solidified than let me not follow you. And if I had a chick and we both be entertainment, I might not want to follow her on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't know if I want to do that. You don't let her have but, a space. But they had a relationship. And I kind of felt like they should have kept that private. Especially the fact that they're both very famous, very yeah. well-known individuals. For sure. For sure. And Tiffany seemed like she would tell all the business once it and, ends. And, and, and she's and a comedian. Because, and that's good, that's good, you know, good, well, you know, topics to talk about. Because I would talk about common ass too. If I was a comedian and we broke up, oh, it's I'm gonna talk about you. You might get at it, but I know for a you fact. Know, well, she ain't no he he ain't no mouthy cat. He don't he don't get out there like that, which is why you never gonna see him caught up in nothing. You never gonna really get interviews outside of business. You know, he you know, straight eighty seventh street cat who just keep it nice and smooth and low. So he, he we don't know. That's what makes you good gossip. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We don't but know. you know what? That's cool though, because you know with him, I kinda feel like he is a quiet dude. Yeah. And He's never really been in the limelight. You never hear about him doing things. So, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. But I never really saw the, the connection with him and Tiffany. But then I was thinking opposites Me attract. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Opposites attract. Yeah, but, that, that's true. That's but true. But I've also heard that compatibility can also be harmful as well. I'll tell you about that next week. Let me write this down so I won't forget. Write this shit down. I, I got to put it's that, gonna throw put that your, right it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's going to blow your mind, okay? You said compatibility? Yes. I, I thought it was crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, but I thought it was crazy until... Until what? Until this... I, I don't even want to bring it up, but next week... Bring like, it up! Is it... 
is it really a good idea to date or be with someone that is that you're compatible with? I mean, uh, you both have a lot in common. Like, is it a a good thing or is it a bad thing? Or it made me think, and I was kind of like, hey, because that's the first time I heard it. Okay, so you saying compatibility I, could be a bad thing? That's what you were saying. Well, you the way the guy broke it down, uh huh, I I kind of understood, but then I was kind of like, mm, he got a point. But I'm very interested I want someone in that. who understands me. It's deep. Right. And I think Rosie talked about it. Rosie perspective. Rosie and got on it. Okay. Yeah. And that's what made me start to, you know, investigate because I want to know more about this dude. Okay. Okay. I think he was like a, a preacher or a coach or something, but the way he broke it down, it was like, <gasps> well, maybe that's our problem. We always have this preference. Mm -hmm. You know? Like Shoot, I always thought I was gonna marry Idris Elba. That didn't happen. <laughs> hey, that can you still happen. Saying? He's single. No, he's not. He's single. No, he's not. He's not. No, he's oh. married. Oh my bad. Don't get me excited for me. I'm like, wait, you almost convinced my ass. Hey, just <laughs> just what? so y'all know out the gate, I don't know nothing about no celebrity. You, you had me. I was no. like, oh shit, for real? No. What? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know nothing. But I want to hype Latte up to get after him, though. Get after that man. <laughs> get after him. You know how your no. boys always hype you on some dumb things, and you be like, yeah, I could talk to her. I could talk to her. I know. You was like, you no, can't. Bro, like, you what? Can't. I'm hyped. He is? Right. No. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? And we might be compatible, but, you know, you know, but that, that was a preference. But then you end up probably being with, with someone like Gary Coleman. I'm up here, he's just elbow all the way and then end up with a Gary Coleman guy. Did you just take a shot at Gary? I like Gary. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm just giving an example, you know. He's just like tall, dark, and handsome. End up, you know, being with someone who's totally opposite of Idris. Oh, uh, okay. that he's not handsome. This goddamn a different strokes he, can move the world. So you can't go in on little C. I that's love my little him. Button. Okay, good. He's I wonderful. thought it was going to go somewhere. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Okay? Wouldn't sue. What you <laughs> talking about, Latte? <laughs> Gary C. He's the man. Okay. <laughs> Lay it on the, Straight up. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> but I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to bring that, bring that up. Um, yeah, and yeah. I'm not going to even lie. It bothered me a little bit because I was like, ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. As a matter of fact, on that compatibility, man, if anybody wants to uh, chat with that a little bit next week, man, I am I'm I'm definitely willing to hear uh some opinions on that because uh, we've yes. always been taught that compatibility works, right? But I'm interested to to, uh, to see what that gentleman is speaking about as yes. far as he's working against the grain. Because man, I wish I could get him on the show. I right, will. right. I will. Okay, most definitely. When and I said I want to get Joshua Benoit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I want them on the show. Man, I've ever seen in my hey. life. Took me a whole year, but but it happened. See what I'm saying? Hey, good things come to those who wait and got patience. So you know what I mean. Not only is he a beautiful person, but that man's a businessman. He hey, is so smart. He is definitely. more than just eye candy. He right. is highly intelligent. Okay. Mark has his own business. He he's he's amazing. He's more than just an artist. There you he's go. more than just a pretty face. I'm telling there you, you if you guys didn't see that interview on Station Head, man, it was the best interview ever. Solid. Josh Benoit. But yes, yes, I'm gonna work on getting this guy. I'm not even gonna mention his name. You guys gonna have to wait. I'll I'll post his face. I'll give a little introduction to so you guys can, you know, get ready for, you know, next Saturday so I could talk about this compatibility thing and how it kind of bothered me a little bit. And if anyone would like to join in and participate and be on the panel with us, oh, man, that would be like great. That. So if you are interested, please, please, wait. No longer together. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> what what are you talking about no longer together? Haven Hearts, I just saw it says no longer together. Who is no longer together? Oh, probably Idris. Mm-mm. 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 
damn, made me just stop in the middle. No. No. I don't believe that. Idris. I, I bet you that's what Elba it has to and be. wife. That was the last topic. No. Oh, girl, you got to end. Ooh, you got to end that. This is a chance for me. Wait, hold you got to end. Get him on the show. We got he, he, he a Virgo single. too. He's a Virgo, and his wife has launched a new podcast. Nope, they launched a new podcast June twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Each Elvin and his wife Sabrina have launched a new podcast. Oh, oh my man, goodness. stand it was love at first sight. Mm -mm -mm. Each Elvin wife divorce. Let me let me put that divorce. It's a divorce. I'm just trying to see just to make sure. No, no, I'm saying I was just saying I thought uh. If he's doing a podcast with his wife, they wouldn't be divorced, though, would it? Well, who knows, man? Hollywood is a little different. You know, I'm going to find out. You know, you know how Hollywood is. They on and off. On yeah, that's what off. I'm saying. That's why I was just curious. Damn. Anyway, we'll talk about that next week. Idris Elba. Hold up. Idris? If, that, if that's the case, you ladies better get at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Idris. And uh, I'll tell you about the guy next week. I'm not going to bring up his name because I want you guys to, you know, just wait. I'm not, that's, you know, that's a spoiler. I tell you. And I'll talk more about the giveaways. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm going to start posting about that. And, uh, you know, shoo. It's a wrap. That sound like a plan. That sound like a plan to me. Exactly. Cause I like my coffee and I like my tea. And so, people gonna um, those are some excellent prizes and giveaways as well. So you serious about this coffee maker? Man, I'm I'm definitely down. I'm I've had it for a while and uh, yeah, I think it it'll, it'll be. We'll 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 see. We'll we'll see. If it gets, it's more so people are interested in it. If, if not, then you know I can keep it right where. She sits, makes no coffee no more, just a shrine. Like, such and such and such and such. You and know you a serious here. coffee drinker when you just have it like that. Seriously, yep. though. That's Most how you definitely. know that you're a serious coffee drinker. Oh, for sure. For Shoot. Sure. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You yeah, know yeah. yeah, no, what I mean? You know, because it doesn't make sense for me to do a giveaway and only five people participate. That don't mean <laughs> I need a hundred, Okay. Give me a hundred. Right. Okay? Yeah, make sure y'all participate. Most definitely. Look at that. Most the definitely. cute little spoon. Look at that. You ain't gonna find none of this priority. No, no, you gotta you gotta hunt that down. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, maybe Amazon might have it, but you still gonna have to wait for it to get to you because all the cargo trucks is parked right outside of uh, San Diego's port, still waiting. So you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it could be a rough, rugged, raw, and you'd have to pay for it. So right. You don't want all that. No. Tune in, participate, get it free on the house, and show us how you use it. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that would be nice. And then we want to sit together. Let's toast and buy y'all, you know? Okay. It's All right. Nature. And you yes. know what? We, 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 we should start inviting some of the independent artists on the panel as well. I wouldn't mind that. Not one bit. Not one you know? bit. Because um, yeah. I... On you know bourgeois coffee table, I might be bringing that back. I'm thinking about Saturdays at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, my time. Okay, okay. And, uh, you know that definitely is. Uh, if you guys go to the website, you'll see that um, you'll be featuring five channels. Because now I have to change it because it was just Instagram. Yep. And now on now Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Twitch. That's right. Five, right? That's true. That is true. So we're looking forward to it. Everybody be ready. That's, you know. Got to. Uh, Got to be ready. Okay? Because what frequency said, hey. Tell me you didn't like yourself. Tell me you eat when you ain't shit. I know it's a lot of us. I love this chick. That's funk. That's that is funk. Yeah.
Our sunshine. Hey. Our only sunshine. Hey. I get my cable wires. I'm going to hook it up to the monitor. There you go. Boom it. Boom it. All right. Really rip. Yes. All right, party people, look the place to be. Independent, independent artists. All right. Until the next time. Out. That's right. Time for us to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, make sure that y'all share, listen, the whole now, participate. Next week, we're going to have another blast. Uh, right. day, any oh, oh. What? See what? King Richard. That's what I was going to say. If you get the opportunity, go see King Richard. Invest in that with your family, man. Wait, Netflix, uh, Apple TV? Where? Oh, uh, that is an excellent question. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe it's Netflix. Okay, all right. Netflix. Yeah, uh, but it's, it's definitely worth the time. Uh, uh, and you'll, you'll definitely enjoy it if you don't. Money back guarantee. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, she did with the glasses, Red. Yes, she did. Yes, she did with the spectacles. She sure did. <laughs> See the brown? <laughs> oh, the whole thing. Yes. You coordinated. Yes. You coordinated. I tried yeah. to it to yes. you guys, yes. you know. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> they probably think we're crazy. This, look, this is my little co-host. I got to take him out. <laughs> he done hopped All up right, on there. Guys. Talking about it's time to ride, little buddy. I said, okay, little buddy, let's ride. All right. Let's so I hope you guys like this time. You reach us. You meet with us next Saturday at 12 yes. noon. Not to stand the time. What time is it for you right now? Well, right now, I'm on the West Coast, so it is actually 11 Pacific. Uh, two Saturdays is going to be on the Eastern Standard Time. But right. I will keep everybody posted. We'll make sure we, you know, keep it detail oriented as we make moves, not fake That's moves. That's right. You know what I mean? Most definitely. So we All hope right, to see you guys safe. around noon. Till next time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>